An open flexor microscope is built from a combination of off-the-shelf electronics, standard optical equipment, and 3D printed parts. The printed parts are designed to be made on any entry-grade printer anywhere in the world. During assembly, our documentation guides the manufacturer through every step, allowing them to understand the position and the role of the illumination, lenses and sensor. There's no black box here, nothing is proprietary or hidden from the user, and parts can be easily modified in each setting, letting the team address the challenges and requirements they face in their environment. The finished microscope can run automatically for several hours, scanning samples with a built-in autofocus. The 8 megapixel camera is comparable to many commercial slide scanners, achieving a resolution below 400 nanometers. In practical terms, this means that individual cell damage or parasites can be identified on a microscope with parts costing under 300 US dollars. The stage is fully automated, intelligently planning its own path around samples. It can also self-calibrate, warning the user if there's any damage that could impact the diagnosis. The automated stage allows huge datasets to be collected and stored. In pathology, this lets samples be archived, shared or used for the training of medical students. This can also be the platform for low-resource artificial intelligence systems or automated image processing, making emerging technologies more accessible in low-resource settings. Free software to control the devices works with any number of open flexure microscopes, enabling parallel scanning of samples. Images can be exported as a JPEG or PNG, so there's no restrictions tying anyone in to an expensive supplier. Carefully chosen parts ensure that the open flexure microscope is sufficiently low cost for field work and workshops while being high quality enough for use in hospitals and research labs. With seamless processing from the first capture to the final stitched image, Open Flexure can transform the landscape of digital pathology.